Welcome to Ace Designs 107. I'm the Ace in the Car Pack. You're the Kings and Queens. Today, what if these guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own YouTube banner. Now, in this tutorial, we won't be learning anything new. Like if you watched all my other videos, I've covered all these different techniques before. However, this is just a different style banner. So, yeah, I'm going to teach you another style, I guess. Now, the difficulty for this tutorial will be actually two out of five stars and the duration will be 15 minutes and really doesn't take that long. You will need a couple of assets for this tutorial, so links will be in the description below for all those um, assets. And yeah, if you did like the video or end up liking the video, hit the like button and also comment below telling me what you thought of the video so I can personally thank you below and also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get straight into it. Welcome to the desktop. This is where the magic happens. And we're going to get straight into this tutorial by opening up Photoshop. And you're going to go down in the description below on this video and download the YouTube template, banner template. And you'll get something like this minus this picture. And this picture is just going to be help us as a preview. So when I'm designing this t banner, I can basically just use it as a reference for this design. Now, unfortunately, the designer didn't credit himself in this preview. If he would, I would leave a credit in the description below, but he didn't. So first of all, I'm going to make the backing white. So to do that, this is our bottom layer. We make our foreground white. Grab up the bucket tool and fill this one in. Then we're going to actually merge these two layers together and this is just going to be our top layer. I'm also going to lock this one. Now I can see a little line here and another line here. So I think this is a triangle shape. So I'm going to grab up a polygon tool, make sure that the sides is on three. There is going to be no stroke on this one and there's going to be fill with a gray, a very light gray. I'm going to hold shift and drag this one out something like that we're going to press ok and we are going to get something like this press ctrl j right click do flip vertically and we're going to do this type of pattern maybe this one can go up a little bit something like that then you can press ctrl on both of these layers press ctrl j and then move these one out. That is how easy that is. And yeah, it doesn't really take much. Now we've got like a really neat little texture. We can shift click all these, merge these together, right click, do rasterize layer, change your opacity on these down to like 21 or something. And we've got a texture. Next thing to do is make these circles that we can see on the document. So we're going to make a new layer by pressing Control Shift N and we'll press OK. Now to make the circles, I'm going to be using the shape tool again with the ellipse, making sure that when I drag out to make a selection or make a circle, I'm holding Shift so it is a circle in proportion. I'm going to select a really dark gray for this one, probably something like this. I can change the color at any time. So that color is just what I like. And I'm going to make these circles the exact same position as the preview. Um, like just, just because I feel like it and you know, I don't know. I just feel like it. Pressing control J every time when I want to grab up the circle, press control T to resize it. Those are the two shortcuts that I'm utilizing in all my tutorials basically and you should already know it if you've been here for a little bit and what I do want to say guys is thank you so much for watching the channel it has been really amazing I've been getting some really good support on a lot of my videos and you're absolutely destroying the rating system for me so thank you so much I really do appreciate it words can't express how happy I am if you know what I mean, and daily uploads will continue to come out.
we're getting something like this and it is looking good so far I always hate moving smaller objects because of I can't really select the middle to move it perfect Okay, I'm gonna press Control J on this one, bring it down to here, right click and or shift while I resize this one. Okay, maybe Control J this one, bring it over here, press Control T, drag this one out. Okay, sweet. And yeah, that should actually be okay. We're actually gonna drag some little circles down into here now ideally you should have like a brush a circle brush I guess something like that and maybe we'll go ahead and make our own brush with the brush settings the F5 and see what we can do but for now we're just going to get something like this now we're gonna make the red circles by pressing Control J pressing V on our keyboard and I'm actually gonna grab up a decent sized circle start working with this one is going to be dragged out something like that I'm gonna bring up you press you for the options of this one and the color is gonna be red something like that I'm gonna drag all my red circles under my gray ones shift click all these gray press ctrl G and this is gonna be gray gray and then I can work with these red ones Opa. pressing V every time when I want to move the circles is also great maybe something like this one Okay, so now with this circle, I'm going to just go ahead and change the opacity. So I'm going to go and hide all these layers until I find this one. And bring down the opacity, something like this. Okay, sweet. So now we have some of the circles on the document. We are going to make the rectangle that is seen in the middle to house the text. I'm also going to group all these circles and name it red. So to do this, grab up your rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure that it has no fill. And actually, we're going to do a fill off your white. And it's just going to have a stroke of black. Just drag it out. And it should look have something like this. thing with white is because we don't want any particles on it. So that is the reason why I'm doing it with a white fill. You could like kind of get something like this going on. If you'd like, I guess. We're going to ascend to this one by pressing Ctrl A to select the document, second and fifth icon, making sure that we have a move tool. And I'm liking something like that. Now, I want to resize some of these circles, so we're going to go ahead and find them. Okay, perfect. Now we're just going to drag our rectangle above all these layers and we can hold alt while we resize this one. Something like that. We're going to press T for our t um, typography tool or text tool, whatever you'd like to call it. And I'm going to make a black text. Just click anywhere and do slush. This is going to be a template in the description below. So if you would like just have this template so you can edit it short go ahead and download it but if you do download it make sure to like the video um, just because of like I did put in the time to make this myself so much appreciated if you do maybe I'm gonna be using the text code code bold a link in the description will be available if you'd like to know where you can download this font and use it for own personal use it is a free front it is really good and I love it full stop it's going to resize this 
and get a position that I like. I think something like this is working quite nice for us. Now I'm going to press Control J, move this one on the bottom, and I'm just going to go subscribe for more. Sub. Subscribe. Don't tell me I forgot how to spell subscribe. Subscribe for for more. I'm going to change the color of this text to red, and the size of it is going to be all the way down to like a nine, and the VA space is going to be two hundred or something like that. Five hundred should be four hundred. Five hundred should be good and just move this one up. So we have something like this going on. Then the next thing I'm going to do is add in these little blurs that you can see with the lines. So to do this, make a new layer, bring up your brush tool. We're going to start type um, brushing in with a circle brush. Make your hardness 100, but the size of it is going to be eight or something that shall match this size. So I think that will be good. Now when you um, paint on it, make sure you're painting with the red color, the same red color that you used for the circles. So use your eyedropper to select that. And on the layer, just hold shift while you draw out that line so you get something straight. And just draw out some lines across the document where you want the motion blur to be applied. I guess something like, whoa, something like there. And you don't need to do too much, just do it like that because it's gonna be blurred, so it's gonna go quite far anyway. And I'm just always holding shift down. Something like that, guys. Should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to go to filter, blur, motion blur, and change up your distance to like, I'm going to actually just erase this corner one, and I'll do that one separately. So yeah, I'm just going to go to filter, blur, motion blur, and bring up my distance up to like, Two hundred and sixty-three or something like that, and I'm also going to bring down my opacity so I get like those kind of streaks coming on. Now, if your streak extends too far, just bring up your eraser tool and make sure it has soft edges and just erase some of the edges. Soft edges will make sure that it still looks like it's blurring out, not just like how you've gone up with a hard, hard brush and just gone through the middle. No, it's not what you're supposed to do, guys. Calm down can be hard another time if you know what I mean okay so something like this is working quite nice and yeah okay so I'm going to make a new layer I'm gonna be using a particle brush for this one a link will be in the description below where you can get these particle brushes from all you have to do to load it in is extract that file extract the brushes and then do load brushes and load that brush ABR file in. That's how you bring in your brushes. Make a new layer above this. And you can already use this as like, as something like, I guess, but we're going to be doing some more stuff to this. But I'm gonna change the size of this one down to like 400. And I'm just gonna straight away paint off with some red. So yeah, bam. I'm going to be using my eraser tool in some cases or in some instances just to paint around these. And that is going to be it basically. Now I'm going to change a brush, make sure that I'm painting with white this time and also bring down my size to like 400 or something like that. And I'm going to click a couple of times, make a new layer make sure that I'm actually painting with white.
Hmm. I'm not painting. Why won't you paint, you f son of a... Okay, so this is going to be paint layer. For some reason, it's not letting me paint. If I can press control U, just let me try up something. Okay, so I'm just going to paint with red. And this is going to be on a new layer. And it's still not letting me paint. Some weird fucking reason. Alright, I guess I'll just work with these brushes, I guess. So I'll just control J this layer. And just move it somewhere, I guess. Because I, I really don't want to re-record re this tutorial. Okay, so I've got some brush splatters. I'm going to bring up my eraser tool, make sure that I've got that. And just erase the areas that I don't like. Okay, and I can merge all these layers together. And these will be like my white layers. So if I press Control U and just go to lightness and change that right up so it's white. Bam, I've got some white colors, I guess you could say. And yeah, that's how you can do your particles. Now you can go around and add in more particles if you'd like. And that's what you can do. But I guess this tutorial, we utilized some shapes. We utilized some different techniques with the particle brush. And yeah, that's how we're able to make this effect. It was really simple, it wasn't too difficult. Now if you did like the video, make sure to hit that like button. And also comment below saying what you thought of the video so I can personally thank you below. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video with a more advanced tutorial. Peace everybody.